What you doing? Good afternoon. Thank you very much for accommodating the excitement that we had this morning. What we talked about that was the fact that if any one of these features were in a bill that we were taking up in the Congress, if we were taking up the child care pieces of this and the home health care pieces of it, it would be historic, big, nearly a trillion dollars, children learning, parents earning, caring for our loved ones at home, and respecting those who do so. That's really the framework that the president shared with us this morning, and it's, uh, it's remarkable. It's remarkable in that it's a big vision, bigger vision than we've seen in a very long time, maybe dating back to President Franklin Roosevelt and the New Deal. If we had a framework that had our priorities spelled out clearly and agreed to, that added up to a top line, start with the priorities, and then added up to a top line, which was the limit. Priorities, I mentioned the top line, 1.75 approximately, and the commitment that we would have the same bill pass the House and the Senate. That's what we have now. That's what the president presented. And we won't have anything, regardless of whatever input we have in the bill, unless it is agreed to by the Senate. Well, I trust the president of the United States. And again, the, the text is out there. If they have some, anybody, any senator, any House member, have some suggestions about where their comfort level is or their dismay might be, then we welcome that. But I, I trust the President of the United States. Uh, we will. We have, you know, all the things I named, we have agreement on most of those things. Now, when people see the language, they may say, well, this goes more further than I thought. I don't know. We'll see what they say back. This is professional. Let's do it in a timely fashion. Let's not just keep having postponements and, and leaving any doubt as to when this will happen. What this legislation will do is to help the president meet his goals, the goals of America for how we reduce emissions and pollution and the rest, and not only how we do that, meet and beat the goals of the Paris Accord, but also how we help other countries do so. This is quite remarkable, and if you took any one piece of it, it would be transformative and historic. Taking together, it's quite a spectacular vision that President Biden has put forth. I salute him for it, and when I try to, shall we say, make a case for this or that, he said, you don't have to tell me. I wrote it. I know the particulars, and that was what was so demonstrated this morning, his, his meticulous attention to detail, his uh, encyclopedic knowledge of what, everything that was in the bill. Uh, this, we're really blessed with his leadership, and when he goes uh, to these meetings with, the, with the, the G20 now and then to meet His Holiness the Pope and to go to uh, Glasgow, uh, we want him to go as strong as possible. Have you 